got a question here today about uh, chiropractic, med, naturopathic school, whatever you want to call it, uh, and cadaver dissection. So if that's not something you're interested in, um, go ahead and uh, turn off this video now. Um, anyway, Matt writes, uh, quick question for you about school. I heard you were talking about dissecting cadavers. I'm applying to naturopathic med schools right now, hopefully starting in December and want to be a naturopathic doctor. Hey, dude, I'm totally not trying to talk you out of that. I think that's awesome. I think I might faint in those types of situations. I'm not sure after a few anatomy labs I'll be fine, but it's my worry from what I've read online. Many people experience that at first, and then some men students faint when they get needles and stuff too, but eventually get over it. I was just wondering what your first experience was and if you had that in your class and got faint or dizzy or anything like that. I've been totally fine with animal dissections and stuff, but seeing human on the dissecting table I think it would freak me out a bit. Um, okay, so this is a great question because I remember when I first visited my first chiropractic school and they said, oh, and we dissect cadavers as part of um, the curriculum, I was really like taken aback, like, whoa, I, we, we dissect cadavers? Like, that's, oh, man. And I was, it really freaked me out at first. And I talked to a few people about it and they're like, yeah, you become desensitized like, really quick, it's no big deal. And... Um, and I thought, well, you know, it's kind of like cost of doing business, you know. Like, if I want to do, I really want to do this, like, can I stomach, like, having to work with cadavers in a lab? Like, it could be a lot worse. Like, I really want to do this. It's it's, it's the cost of admission. Like, that's that's what I'll just do. And so I got to say, in the experience, I acclimated to it a lot faster than I thought I would, actually. It's, um, it's really not that bad, I think you know, talk to a few other people about it and see what their experiences were. But you realize that the people that are there, their bodies, like they donated them and they want to be used for science and it's nothing more than a body. Um, you know, the spirit's gone from it. And so I would say for me, like maybe the first one or two times we were in there, I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. Like I don't want to go near it. Um, and it didn't really look like I thought it would look like it, I mean, cause the, the blood's drained out and, and, um, you know, there's embalming fluid, so it's not really messy. It's pretty dried out, actually. Um, so, like, the first couple times, it was, like, kind of weird, but it didn't faint or, like, throw up or anything like that. I was just sort of like, I kind of don't want to go near it. Like, I don't want to do the dissection. Like, I'll just watch. And then I would say by, like, the third or fourth week of school, going in there twice a week, I was, I was like, ah, oh, it's no big deal. And now it's like I don't even think about it. Um, I mean, I think if I still saw, like, a dead body in the street of someone who had died in, like, a car crash or something, like, that would still weird me out, but this is, like, I know it's there, I know that they, you know, died and donated their body to science, and it's cool, and they, like, agree with being cut up, and, you know, to them, you know, they're there with a purpose, and they're, you know, it's there for you to study, and so I don't really see it as a big deal. I guess I would say I'm desensitized to it. And I would say, like, it took maybe three or four weeks. And it wasn't that bad in the beginning. There was one dude who for a while was wearing a gas mask. Because the smell really, like, put him off. But in our class of about 100 people, no one was like, I just can't do the cadavers. I think in past terms, maybe there's, like, one or two students every year or two. that's just, like, can't go in there. But um, I was unsure about how I would be with it. And... I acclimated pretty quickly. So I know, Matt, that you're really stoked about um, being an astropathic doctor. So um, I would say you should be fine. You, you'll, you know that it's cost of doing business and it might be a little weird in the beginning, but you'll acclimate pretty quickly. So that's the answer to that question. Hope you guys got something out of that.